thank you for having me here. Uh, today I'm going to tell you a few words about Open Fabric and especially about the Internet of AI. So every now and then we see some amazing innovation that basically change our life in a never seen way before. You know, like Internet and, and blockchain. And I guess we are all very fortunate to see those innovation, not to mention, you know, being part of, of one of them. So in, in order to understand you know, uh, what is Open Fabric about, uh, we have to take a step back and discuss about the protocol, especially the power of protocol. So, you know, protocol are something very, you know, very, very simple, like a set of rules, which some people, you know, can have to uh, obey to join a network. So they, they may sound boring, but he, here's, here's the interesting part. The more people will respect those rules, the bigger the network it is. So, you know, uh, we know some of the most, uh, you know, uh, well-known protocols like blockchain where you exchange value or internet where you exchange uh, uh, data. So, what about AI? So, we know AI has a, it, it appears a way uh, ahead of its time. They had a lot of, you know, bumpy road, being forgotten for almost 20 years, but when it was rediscovered, it basically changed everything. It changed our computer, it changed our phone, it changed our medical system and basically became an integrated part of our life. But even though we see such, such evolution, it seems somehow that AI innovation is still stale, it's, it's still, it's still uh, um, not getting the right speed. So we think the next stage would be about you know, decentralized AI, something which is more like hype knowledge. Uh, and uh, today I'm here to introduce you and explain you about what Open Fabric is. So basically Open Fabric is an open protocol which, in, which allow end user to trade intelligence. Basically, um, it, it tries to focus in solving you know, the, the, the core problem right now in, in our uh, AI solution. So basically, it, it tries to simplify the entire process on how users can actually access and use AI technology. Uh, so in a nutshell, we are, we are providing a way for people to uh, trade intelligence, to exchange intelligence. So, okay, how, how, how this does work? So, basically, Open Fabric, it creates an ecosystem that brings together four major stakeholders. So, we have the people, you know, the service consumer people willing to use AI and, and pay each time they're using it. We have innovator people knowing how to create the technology and they're willing to, to monetize this skill. Basically, each time the AI apps are executed, they get paid in return. Of course, we also have the infrastructure provider, which are people possessing computing power and strong machine and they can run their computing power so uh, you know AI can be run on, on their infrastructure. Of course we have also data provider but in a nutshell we are creating an, an ecosystem, an economic model, an entire economy where people can work together and to create you know relevant and useful AI solution. Okay so what are the core elements of Open Fabric and how does it work? So uh, right now, Open Fabric it has three major three major components. There's something that we call DOS. So this is our decentralized operating system. Basically, it's 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 part of the system that that make you know uh, the network operate right. That everything happens in, in in a predictable and and normal way. We also have the trusted execution environment, which is a sort of sandbox which is cryptographically secure. So it, that ensure that you know all the everything what's executed inside the sandbox is accessible only to the to the relevant people that have access to do that. And of course, we also have an ontology-based connection system that allows us to not only to connect different algorithms between each other, but also to connect with the user interface and in the, in the entire system. So. On top of these core elements, we built basically three products. So we have the AI Explorer, we have AI Pay and AI Dev Kit. Now, what you're seeing here is actually some screens from, from the real platform. So this is the, the AI Explorer. So it's a sort of dashboard and marketplace where users can simply, you know, navigate, find and, you know, configure their solution, but also run it. So basically, you can, you can, you can run your app directly on your browser in the App Explorer. And the more 
cool feature is that you actually can integrate those AI apps in whatever you have in your website, in your app, in whatever you have built. So the power of Open Fabric is that it simplifies the user experience and the, the way the people can use it. Of course, beside that, we have the app pay, with AI pay, which, which is like a digital, which, uh, digital identity and payment system. So basically, users are actually using that app to do the payment inside the platform and of course, to authenticate themselves. Um, beside that, we also created a lot of tools for developers to actually publish their solution because we want to create bridges to, to those people, not, not want to force them to learn something new, rather we let them to deploy the already existing solution, even though it's PyTorch or TensorFlow, it, it doesn't matter. You simply use our tool set to, to wrap it up your solution, deploy it on Open Fabric, and this will get you know, instantly accessible to all the people using the platform. Of course, we also have you know, like video tutorials, we also have integration wizard with different, with different system, so yeah, in a nutshell, this is uh, you know what Open Fabric is about. So, just as you know, a closing thought. So Im imagine what you know, Tesla uh, and you know uh, uh, Apple and Amazon, and all these big company as are right now because they have the power of AI. So I imagine you as an you know end user, more simple, not not necessarily like a big company, having access to the same technology. So with Open Fabric, you can have uh, this today what it will be interesting i mean for for people to remain about what we are building is that we, we we took a step back i mean we look at all the ai ecosystem we, we took a step back and try to find the solution that start from the end user not from the technical people because right now in, in most of the ai ecosystem people are very technical very targeted to numbers crunching numbers make may better prediction but in the end, it's about creating solutions which are more targeted to the end user, something that end consumer can use. You know, as you know, Apple did with their, with their iPhone entire infrastructure, let people consume like those apps in their phones. Similarly, with Open Fabric, people can use you know AI apps, things that has intelligent built-in. It's not like you know simple application. Thank you.